So natural aphrodisiacs truly exist, but you can eat as much ginseng and saffron as you'd like. Your inner vixen is completely sedated by the consumption of sugar. Simple carbs spike your blood sugar, which leads to the production of insulin. Insulin signals cells to absorb sugar, meaning energy, from the bloodstream. But if you have more sugar than your body needs, insulin helps store the sugar in your liver. In short, insulin reduces the blood sugar. Often, insulin is overproduced, resulting that insulin overcompensates, causing an actual dip in blood sugar. This leaves you feeling hungry again, hello sugar cravings, and fatigue. All the two of you will be doing in bed is sleeping and snoring. If you have these highs and lows of blood sugar throughout the day, your adrenal glands will be too busy secreting cortisol instead of DHEA. DHEA is a hormone and a precursor of testosterone. Testosterone is responsible for 90% of a woman's libido, with progesterone and estrogen being of influence for the remaining 10%. On date night, skip the bread basket and limit your intake of pasta, rice or potatoes to maybe half a cup, which is really all you need. And as a true dessert devotee, maybe share it? Remember what you're doing it for. If you want to go up and down, make sure your blood sugar level isn't. Before continuing with the anaphrodisiac videos, I'm going on holiday next week where I will shoot the free the nipple video. Let's all support the cause, ladies. So if you're curious, subscribe to the YouTube channel or on Intimacy.rocks. Salut!